Welcome to Electra Online, and now we're going to take a last look at the comparison between luminosity and brightness. And the reason why I'm hammering on this so much is because we use the term brightness, unfortunately, interchangeably between the amount of energy we receive from an object far away and how bright it appears here on the Earth. We use the same term brightness in both cases, which is a little bit confusing. So let's say the official definition of brightness is in terms of what percentage of the total energy radiated from the object comes from the visible light. For example, we can say that the luminosity refers to all the radiation emitted by an object like the sun or a star, and the brightness refers to the visible light portion only of that radiation. In the case of the sun, the visible light portion is about 43%, and therefore the rest is emitted in the IR, infrared, and some in the UV. For Sirius, the portion is different. Only 26% of the total energy emitted from Sirius is in the visible light. A large portion of it is in UV and some IR. So the ratio then of the brightness to the luminosity for the sun, so in this case for the sun, the ratio in the case of the sun, that would be equal to 43%. So, and for Sirius, if we do the ratio for Sirius, the brightness ratio, to the luminosity, and that's in the case of Sirius. Now, the letters that we use to indicate that would simply be B, small b for brightness, and capital L for luminosity. So that ratio for Sirius is only 26%. And so when we talk about brightness, we talk about the portion of the electromagnetic radiation that's being emitted from the star that's in the visible uh, portion only. Now, we also talk about brightness in the intensity when it reaches the Earth. And that refers to the case where we talk about apparent magnitude and an absolute magnitude, the brightness and the bolometric magnitude. So what do we mean there? Well, the terminology apparent magnitude and absolute magnitude actually refers not to the total luminosity of the object, but to the brightness of the object, the portion is invisible light only. And that's why there's some discrepancy when we start calculating luminosity and brightness of objects relative to how bright they appear to us here on the Earth. And there, we're going to try and clarify that in the next video to show you what we actually mean when we say apparent magnitude and absolute magnitude. Is it in terms of the total luminosity or is that in terms of the brightness of the star in the visible light portion only? To clarify that, let's come back to the next video and take a look.